Right, well, hello, everybody. Look at that. The sheet's on. The sheet's on. Um, yesterday, perfect day for putting the sheet on. Hot weather. Had some friends and family come around to give me a hand. Um, got the main sheet on. Still got the doors to do and the roll-up side ventilation to finish off. But the main sheet's on. I, I was super apprehensive about doing this, I must admit. First time I've ever done it and wanted to do a, a good job. But anyway, coming up in the rest of the video is, I think we've got a little time lapse of doing it. A midway through walk around and uh, final conclusion. So yeah, it was a bit of a mission, I got to admit, especially in that heat, but yeah. So that's what's coming on in this video. Hope you enjoy it. Got a good girl at home waiting up. All alone I'm out here fucking around with the same shit I've been on Little baby popped up in my DM Say she in town for the weekend Can I see you tonight? Oh. Right, some things you can do on your own But sometimes you need to bring in the dream team Here they are <laughs> Kerry, Matt and Matthew then you go to the pad stove, get your crabbing supplies. <laughs> Thanks very much, guys. That's been a massive help. Look at it. We're nearly done. Yay. Right now, all those idiots are gone. We can get on with fitting it properly. Only joking. Couldn't have done it without you guys. So I thought I'd just do a midway through little catch up of what we've done. I've been so lucky with the weather. I mean, hottest day of the year. 21 degrees um we got it on fitted but what i've decided to do is literally let it heat up in the heat of the day and uh, then we'll do the doors and the final tensioning um so that's what we've got a little bit of wind blowing around in the breeze but nothing serious and uh just go through a few things. Is there anything to go through? Yeah, the hot spot tape, the white stuff, I put on last night. Um, took a bit of a risk, but I thought in the morning it might have dew on the rails and all the rest of it. And it was a hot day yesterday, so I cleaned them all off with um, white spirit. That was for the second time. I did it when I made the hoops. Cleaned them all off and applied the hot spot tape. Um, pretty straightforward central on the hoops and i had enough to do two lots on the corner so it's right on the top edge and on the side edge for where the sheet goes around and i found the easiest way to press it on well was to have a soft cloth because it sort of sticks to your fingers a little bit and i found a soft cloth the soft cloth um <coughs> just made it really easy to push down and get it sticking really well. Uh, just go inside and I'll explain what I've done with the ground sheet. Right, well with the ground sheet, I got the sheet, well the, the weed suppressant sheet, I got the sheet the right size for the tunnel, but what I've decided to do is, if the wind will blow, there we go, I've cut in about two and a half foot and I've got about two and a half foot of it outside the tunnel and then when we tension the base rails and then trim up the plastic I'm going to bury that into the little trench outside so it will go in out and across that way I can stop all the grass from growing around the edges all right and then the bit in the middle I'll get another bit of sheet to come up through there. All right, so that's what I've done with that. My God, it's hot in here. 
It's all blown in the breeze a bit, but it'll be right once we've done it. Right, well, there we are. End of day one. And I'm not going to lie, that was a bit of a mission in this heat. I mean, it was 21 degrees. I hate to think what the reading was inside the tunnel. We left it loose till about three o'clock. And then another couple of friends, Martin and Tom, come down. And they partner Ann. And uh, we did the... Where are we to? did the pulling in around the doors and batten that up but I think I'm going to reinforce that with a few screws um, nails yeah I don't know there's a lot of tension being held on that so I think I'm going to put a few screws in it but I mean it's fine for the minute and uh, yeah Martin and Tom and Anne give me a hand to do that because it's a bit of a mission and being a bit of a fussy bugger um, <laughs> they were good as gold really and uh, I think it was worth waiting because uh, this thing is tight. I mean, this is super tight. I mean, they say drum tight. That is a mission tight. Uh, I can't see how good at any better. Look at their glinting. You can see the step ladders and reflection. So, uh, yeah, that's the outside. Right, we're inside. Uh, I've just got the doors laid out here um, so they don't get damaged. Um, we put the sheeting on where there was a few of us here to help pull it tight. Um, I haven't battened them yet, but uh, I can do that tomorrow. Cut out the doorway. We've got the ventilation screen and the internal plastic cover secured at the top, but I haven't done the bottom yet. To be honest, I'm, I'm knackered. The heat played hell with me today. Um, yeah, this bit's flapping around, but we'll pull that tight tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, there's still, you know, quite a bit to do to finish it off, fitting the doors and doing the ventilation screen and everything else. But super pleased, super pleased with how tight this is. Yeah. It just went really well. So grateful to everybody who came and gave me a hand. Please don't try and do this on your own. <laughs> I mean, well, what time did they get here? They got here about nine o'clock. I know we had a two hour break, but it's now six o'clock. And uh, I just look at it. Just a few more things to do to get it finished. And then we can really start getting our grow on. Right, that's it for this bit. I think I'll do the other bit as another video. Thanks so much for watching. Cheers and gone.